Hi guys, and thanks for tuning in to Cycle Fab. I have a demonstration for you today, and it's about the Eastwood powder coat gun. I'm going to demonstrate it in its stock form as you would buy it off the shelf, and I'm going to time it on how long it takes to cover this 16 by 22 inch piece of sheet metal. Now the sheet metal is galvanized and it's pretty thick. It's a 16 gauge, 22 gauge. Now I did this test earlier and filmed it and it did not come out well. I was running into problems because I started my machine out on 15 kilovolts, which is its lowest setting. On the Eastwood, you can do 15 or bump it up to 25 kilovolts. It did not want to work in stock configuration. I didn't even get a chance to try it with my diffuser and my uh, fan nozzle on it. But I just want to let you guys know what's going on. Now, I'm going to do this test again, start the video over again with my control box set on 25 kilovolts and this as is, as you would buy it off the shelf. Now, I'm going to time this. There's going to be a timer somewhere over in this area over here. You'll get an idea just how this is compared to my diffuser along with my fan nozzle and another modification that I made to the gun that has to do with the mixing tube down here, which I have capped off right now because, like I said, I want to use this in stock configuration. So I want to stop rambling. I want to get on with this test. Now I will start a timer out here so I'll have a rough estimate about how long it took. In editing, I will put the timer up here and it'll be more accurate. So let's go ahead and get on with this. Okay, here we go. Now this is working well at 25 kilovolts. On 15 kilovolts, it does not do well at all. Uh, but this right here is acceptable. This is fine. Now, with my diffuser and my fan nozzle, I'm going to start it off on 15 kilovolts. Now it may, okay, that did well. I've got 39 seconds on my stopwatch out here. Now the one you see over here is going to be less, but that's actually not too bad. 39 seconds to do a full coverage. Now I'm not going to put a flashlight on it and see where my little bare spots are or anything like this, that because th this is just a demo. This is not going into the oven. Now I'm going to blow this off, convert my gun over and show you what I put on it. And then we're going to time my diffuser and my fan nozzle on here to see if it does any better. And again, I want to set it at 15 kilovolts. Like I said, this is at 25. We'll see what happens. Okay, we're back. Now, I readjusted the machine. The control box is set on 15 kilovolts. I also put my diffuser on here. And I'm taking a piece of tape off that I had covering up these holes right here. Now, those holes are mixing holes. They're, they go into the mixing tube. That's one of my modifications that I do to these guns. And you can look over here at the end of the video, there'll be a playlist, you can click on that and you can find all the videos that I have on the modifications that I do to these. Now, I manufacture these nozzles right here. Uh, also, the diffusers right there. Now, here's a close-up picture of them, you can get a better look at them. And also these guys, these are the columns that go with the nozzle in standard configuration. But now, let's go ahead and try this. By the way, if you look down below in the description area, you can find links to all of my products. Now, I'm kind of curious to see what's going to happen here. Like I said, now the machine's set on 15 kilovolts. Uh, it actually did okay, what, 39 seconds in standard configuration uh, when the machine is set on 25 kilovolts. But, Let's see what it does with this. Uh, put the airline on it. Won't do much without that. Okay. Now, I'm going to start the timer. Okay, timer started.
Okay, mine is working, but not very well at 15 kilovolts. But it is working. In standard configuration, it would not work at all. Uh, the powder would just hit and fall off. Okay, I'm wasting powder, so I want to stop this. I want to kick that up to 25 kilovolts, and then we can get a better comparison of this gun with the different modifications. Okay, I'm back and ready to go with my diffuser and the machine set. I put a little bit more powder in the container, and we're ready to go. I want to start the stopwatch, and bam. Well, there you have it. It is a little faster. The whole intention isn't so much that it's faster, it's that I designed it so it would help you save powder and time. Now, just a few seconds here and there, if you're doing a really large job, yeah, it makes a huge difference. Uh, doing one part, no, it, it really doesn't make any difference as far as saving a little bit of powder. But anyway, uh, it, it works okay. It does work better than the original configuration. Now, the diffuser with just the column on it for doing small parts works fantastic. And I've proven that time and time again. And I also have a lot of customers that just love it. So anyway, this was a very interesting experiment for me. Uh, so I could actually see the difference. I've never done this before. I've never done this experiment. Uh, like I said, it does work a little bit faster, not a whole lot faster, which I wish it did. But anyway, you know, that's the way things are. That's how you learn is you test items. So anyway, I hope that you guys got a lot out of this. Uh, if you like the video, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and go ahead and hit that notification bell too so you know when my next video is coming out, which should be next Wednesday. Anyway. Thanks for tuning in. You guys take care. And I'll see you Wednesday. Bye now.